Matilda the Musical is one of the greatest creations of this century. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I have actually seen this in the West End. I saw it in, I think, 2019. And it blew my mind. Absolutely incredible performances. The special effects were amazing. What happens with the, with Amanda Thrip, I still can't understand. It's incredible. One of the reasons why it's amazing is not just the fabulous set designs and the costumes and the acting. It's the songs. The musical numbers are amazing. So I thought today I would discuss the soundtrack album, which I listen to quite a lot, and it's something that I really enjoy. Usually I would go through every single song and give some thoughts, but I thought I would just pick out ones that are some of my personal favourites that I think are worth, you know, listening to on YouTube if you're not familiar with the soundtrack and you want to get a flavour of the style of music. The music itself, um, as you're probably aware, is um, written by Tim Minchin, lyrics also by Minchin. Obviously, you know you're getting quality here. And the songs are amazing. It starts off, well, obviously we have the overture, but then it starts off with Miracle. And this scene, I'm going to try and talk not too much about the staging for this and the mise-en-scene and the blocking that they did, but this scene is fabulous. You have all of these children singing about how their parents think they're little miracles, they're little soldiers and princesses and ballerinas. And then at the end of the song, Matilda comes forward and she's like, my, you know, my mother says I'm a nasty little wart or whatever she says. It's quite heartbreaking. But that scene is amazing. The children are all fabulous singers. And that's one of the things about this. I mean, the casting's spot on. But they're so talented. And it's so insane to think that there's so much talent and confidence with acting in such young people. It's, it's amazing. It really blows my mind. Miracle is amazing. Naughty is the first song from Matilda that I heard. I heard this before I saw it, and it's one of my favourites. I actually power walk a lot to this one. I, I listen to this soundtrack when I'm walking and, um, you know, going anywhere, and this is one of my favourites. I, I love it. I love the fairy tale aspect and, you know, mentioning Romeo and Juliet and Jack and Jill. It's, for somebody who reads a lot, I love it. Um, The school song is ridiculous the way basically this one is about the older children telling the younger the new children at the school that they better snuff out their enthusiasm for learning because this school will quickly extinguish that and one of the children mentions that they're looking forward to learning their abcs and then this song launches into the older children singing a, the rest of the song but it's done with the alphabet so it kind of starts out with a is four, B is four, and then just the letters of the alphabet fit so perfectly with the lyrics, and and they're emphasised. Just listen to it, please listen to it. If you want to hear a complex song being sung fantastically, school song is is amazing. Then we have pathetic, our first song with Miss Honey, where she, first of all, absolutely beautiful vocals very gentle song we kind of get to see miss honey's vulnerability really early on and i think that that works really well and i think it's just absolutely beautiful and then we have the hammer which is miss trunchbull's first song and this is all about her not taking the easy route when she was a champion hammer thrower and honestly i think it's it's absolutely brilliant it's comedic but it's creepy and i think it really gets across Miss Trunchable's no nonsense bull approach to life. It's it's brilliant, but it's kind of tough to listen to and watch, but in all of the best ways. Bruce, obviously we have Bruce Bogtrotter trying to eat the cake. They sing his encouragement, and it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's not one of my favorite songs on this one, but when I listen to it, I feel like I'm there, like I'm, you know, watching it again. I really absolutely love it. And the last one I want to mention, most of those are from Act 1. In fact, they're all from Act 1. Act 2... Um, I love Act 2, but just none of the songs speak to me as much as, as the ones in Act 1. Um, my favourite one from Act 2 was actually one of my favourites, and that's Revolting Children. 
I think this is the one they would perform a lot on like children in need and things to promote the show. It's beautiful. It's it's got such a catchy tune, really brilliant lyrics, very, very well sung. I absolutely love it. If I had to pick a couple for suggesting to listen to on YouTube to get a flavour, I'd say Oh Miracle Naughty School Song and Revolting Children. But really any of them, you know, it's it's absolutely brilliant. Even if you haven't seen the musical yet, definitely check out the soundtrack. But I do thoroughly recommend the musical in the West End. Um, I believe it's currently in Broadway as well, on Broadway. Matilda will always have a place in my heart from my childhood. But the musical has given me a different love for the story as an adult. I can't fault the production and I can't fault the soundtrack. 